So you've probably seen TV commercials for Golo Release, a diet pill from the makers of Golo, popular weight loss program, and you probably wondered, does Golo Release really work? Let's look at the ingredients and the evidence and see what we can discover. So looking at the supplement facts label for Golo Release, we see that it has an awful lot of ingredients. At the top you see magnesium and zinc and chromium, and it's giving you a good amount of chromium, which makes a lot of sense for a dietary supplement that's supposed to help with insulin resistance. But below that, we see a proprietary blend that actually has several ingredients, ranging from rhodiola, inositol, berberine, gardenia, banaba extract, and even down to apple extract. What's the evidence for these things helping people who have diabetes? So the first thing I would point out that if you take the Golo Release Dietary Supplement, the proprietary blend is 297 milligrams. Now, with proprietary blends, they don't have to tell you how much of each of the ingredients is present. However, remember, they have to tell you the order that they list these ingredients, and they're listed in order of abundance. So of that 297 milligrams, the first thing you see is rhodiola, followed by inositol, followed by berberine, etc. So the last thing, which is the least amount of the proprietary blend, is the apple extract. So that there's not a lot of apple extract in Gola Release. So what's the evidence for these things? So what about rhodiola? Well, there is some preliminary research, mostly stemming from laboratory animals like mice, that suggests that rhodiola might improve some aspects of diabetes, like lowering blood sugar levels, but problem with it is I don't see a lot of human research on rhodiola specifically helping people who have diabetes. So for me, that's an issue. So what about inositol? Inositol is also called vitamin B8. Some research suggests that inositol might help polycystic ovary syndrome, which is also called PCOS. Uh, that's a condition that sometimes goes hand in hand with women who have type 2 diabetes. Other researchers have reported that inositol might improve diabetes by lowering triglycerides and lowering total cholesterol and bad LDL cholesterol levels, and inositol might even have an effect on blood pressure as well. Then we come to berberine, which is another ingredient in the Golo Release Supplement, and berberine is quite popular for both lowering blood sugar as well as lowering cholesterol levels. I've done a video previously on the ability of berberine to lower cholesterol, and I will link to that below this one so you can check it out for yourself. Some research finds that berberine can lower blood sugar levels, insulin resistance, which is something Golo Release is supposed to do, and even hemoglobin A1C levels which is an indicator of how bad diabetes is getting. In one high quality investigation, 24 people with metabolic syndrome, prediabetes, who took 1500 milligrams of berberine each day for three months, they were shown to have remission of metabolic syndrome. And remission is the word used in the study. The women in this investigation who took berberine also appeared to benefit from significant reductions in waist circumference, blood sugar levels, they had lower triglyceride levels, and lower systolic blood pressure as well. So based on this and other research that I've seen on berberine, this leads me to believe that berberine is one of the key ingredients in Golo Release. Gardenia extract is another extract in the Golo Release formula. The problem with gardenia is that I can't find a lot of human research on it. The majority of research on gardenia as it, as it pertains to helping lower blood sugar levels appears to be related to animal research. I don't see a lot of human studies out there. So for me, that's a problem. Moving further down the list, we come to banaba extract and the extract that is most likely being used in the Golo Release formula is corosolic acid. As a matter of fact, they mentioned that on the supplement facts label, the banaba extract is standardized to 18% corosolic acid. Okay, so banaba actually has a long history of helping diabetes. It's actually been used since the 1940s. That's actually when the first research studies came out for banaba and corosolic acid appears to be one of the key players which is responsible for its blood sugar lowering effects. In one clinical trial of banaba extract, researchers gave it to people who had type 2 diabetes and noticed that after just two weeks, those individuals had a 30% drop in their blood sugar levels. So ingredients aside, does the Go Low Release Dietary Supplement 
have any clinical research on it? That's actually important. And the answer here is yes. There is one clinical study on go release. This is a company sponsored clinical trial that involved 68 individuals who were overweight and obese. Some of these individuals also had type 2 diabetes. These individuals were split into two different groups. One group did the go low weight loss program and took a placebo. And then the other group did the go low weight loss program and also took the go low release dietary supplement. So the study lasted five months and it was reported by the researchers that those who took the go low weight loss program and the go low release dietary supplement lost about twice as much weight as those who only did the go low weight loss program. More specifically, those who took the weight loss program and the diet pill, they lost about 13 pounds over the course of five months compared to those who only did go low by itself, they lost about seven pounds. Other benefits seen by these individuals included their blood pressure went down, their waist to hip ratio went down, and their waist circumference decreased as well. Although I wonder how much of the drop in blood pressure was due to the fact that these people lost weight. Losing weight will lower blood pressure. Only about 7% of body weight has been shown to significantly lower blood pressure in individuals. In this particular study, those individuals using the Go Low Release Program, they lost 6% of their body weight. So did their blood pressure go down because they took the supplement or did their blood pressure go down because they lost weight? So the study involving the Go Low Release Supplement is actually really good. It's a double blind placebo controlled trial and that is the gold standard of clinical investigations. But like any study, this one's not perfect. In fact, one of the shortcomings of weight loss studies in general is that people tend to not stick with the diet and drop out. This study also suffered from that. About 50% of the people in this study dropped out. They did not complete the study. Another problem with this investigation is that it compared the Go Low Release Program to the go low diet basically. And I would have liked to have seen a group of individuals who only took the go low release diet pills. Then we can get an idea of what effects the diet pills themselves might have. Now as for side effects from the go low release dietary supplement, there weren't any really significant side effects reported in their clinical investigation. But when I looked online at different websites where people could leave reviews and complain about products, I saw a variety of individuals talking about different things ranging from migraine headaches and rapid heartbeat and feeling anxious and having dizziness. Some people even said they had gained weight while taking the Go Low Release Supplement, which doesn't make any sense because none of the ingredients have been shown to cause people to gain weight. That being said, this is a pretty popular supplement and I don't think most people are going to have side effects, especially if you start with less than is recommended for at least the first week. Give your body some time to adjust because if there were any side effects, taking less should minimize them. So as for pros and cons of the Go Low Release Dietary Supplement. These are my opinions. Yours might be different. For the pros, I would say it's got an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating. The company is a Better Business Bureau accredited company. They do respond to complaints lodged with the Better Business Bureau. So if you are having problems, that might be one recourse for you. So I would say that's a plus. Another one is I do like the fact that the company has sponsored at least one investigation of their dietary supplement. That is really good. A lot of dietary supplements supplements won't have actual research on the supplement. They'll have the research on the ingredients, which may not be the same thing as the research on the supplement. So kudos to the Golo company for sponsoring that dietary supplement research. Also, there is research on the ingredients in Golo. I'm going to tell you in a minute what I think are the key ingredients. And another plus is because it's a popular supplement, there are a lot of people out there saying that they are happy with the results that they've gotten from Golo Release. Now, as for the cons of Golo Release, there are some in my opinion, and one of them is it has a proprietary blend. As a rule, I'm not a fan of proprietary blends because it shields us from seeing the actual amounts in each ingredient. But again, if you remember my rule from above, the first ingredient you see is the most plentiful. So here, rhodiola is the top ingredient in that proprietary blend. Another con, in my opinion, is the return policy. I don't think the return policy is very good. Go Low Release comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee, which you might see blood sugar changes within that time, but I believe it may take you a little bit longer to see any weight loss changes that might occur from the supplement. But my real reason in calling this a con is that you can only get a refund on your first time purchase only. In other words, if you purchase it for a month and then you decide to purchase a second month 
or a third month, you cannot get refunds on those subsequent purchases. You could only get a refund on the very first time you bought the supplement. I think that's not good and I wish that the company would change that policy. So you've seen the TV commercials and you're intrigued by Golo, but maybe you think Golo is a little bit too expensive for you. What do I think are the key ingredients in Golo release? I think there are three primary key ingredients here. Number one, I think, is berberine. There's a lot of research on berberine that it lowers blood sugar and lowers cholesterol levels. Number two is chromium. There are research studies on chromium as well, showing that it can also help insulin resistance in some individuals. And I'd also give honorable mention to banana extract as well, although of those three, I think berberine and chromium are your key players in the Go Release Dietary Supplement. So if you want to save a little bit of money, that might be a way to go. So, hope this quick video helped you better understand Golo Release. If it worked for you, leave a comment below and let me know because I'm very curious to know about these things. Until next time, I'm Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.